COVID-19 got you in isolation? Well, the bad news is your boss is still expecting you to be on a conference call with your webcams on, but you don't have anybody to cut your hair anymore. Good news is, it turns out it's actually not that terrible to cut your hair yourself, and you're going to have some time to experiment and maybe let it grow back in a little bit if it's not working out that great. So come join me as I show you how to cut your hair. You can see what I have set up here. I've got the standard mirror. I've got my kind of medicine cabinet mirror. They provide a corner. And then I've put up this cheap uh, mirror that most people have hanging on the back of their door. Uh, you can get them from Walmart. I just prop it up against the light. That gives me sort of one, two, three mirrors. The cool thing is when you're in here, you can see all angles of your head. Uh, so you can look into this mirror and see this part of my head when I'm working on it. I can come in here and I can see the back. Uh, and one of the coolest things about it is we get used to working in the mirror, um, but if you're doing like hold the mirror behind your head, everything is like twice reflected. So it's sort of the opposite of what you're used to when you're working in a mirror. But if you can sort of get a spot where you have one reflection or three reflections, everything is intuitive. And so what your body has already learned to do, you can keep doing with haircuts. Uh, today, I'm gonna do my common look, which is super short on the sides. I go like way short, almost skin short on the side. I fade it up to here. I do a hard, uh, hard part. I don't actually put in a hard line into my head because that's a little too hipster for me. Um, but I'll do that all the way around, including uh, all the way in the back. And then uh, I will also trim the top and show you guys how I do that. Let's get her done. So I said I like to do it short. That's no guard. This does have the adjustable length. I'm going to make it actually uh, as long as it goes for this part. And I'm going to start here. I'm going to pull it up and go a straight line across here. I'm going to bring it down a little bit in my head. I'm going to come over here, do the same thing, and I'm going to match it behind the head. Um, getting the hard line first is a little intimidating because it'll look funny, but getting that hard line will give you something to fade in a minute. So here we go. Most of you guys probably have better eyes than I do. But what I'm doing right now is I'm checking my line and I'm actually looking into this mirror, into this mirror, and I'm checking out this part of my head. So it's getting kind of a double reflection. And actually it's a triple reflection because it's going from this mirror into this mirror into that mirror. So that triple reflection makes it intuitive. The direction that I want to go is the direction that my hand actually moves. So I can see right now that I've got this nice line, but then I kind of get down and do this. So I'm going to fix that. Looks good. And I actually want to go a little higher. That looks pretty perfect right there. So at this point, you're probably thinking, oh, that looks crazy, but don't worry, we'll get it all faded in. I'm gonna do the other side, and then we'll connect in the back. glasses. So 
So now I'm looking, again, triple mirror. I'm trying to connect this back. And what you're always going to have is you're going to come in and have a nice flat line on this side, nice flat line on this side. And the slope you took in on the back will be a little different. So there's a little bit of making it all match. All right, looks like we've got it just about right. So again, looks kind of goofy at this point, a little bit intimidating, but that's totally cool, we're right on track. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, make sure that I have all this hair out of the way. If you're starting with a longer hairstyle and you're trying to move to this hairstyle, um, you will wanna do, do like a part where you actually comb it out, split it and make a really nice straight part to get that foundation right. If you already have this hairstyle, it's a lot easier because you just follow the same line you used to have before. So I'm going to damp this, but because I'm working in my sink here, if I get water here, it's going to be a sticky mess. So I actually use the other sink to get some water. Not a lot, just a little bit of water, so it'll hold my hair up. Make sure I really understand where that line is. See that line starting to show up? And for the top, I'm gonna to use a two guard. Now, if you're new to this, every guard should have a number carved into it. Uh, the bigger the number, the bigger it is. If you're in the US, these are inches. So number two is two eighths inch. Um, and I'm gonna leave it open. Sometimes if I wanna go shorter, I'll leave it closed. I think actually I'm going to close it. I'm going to close it on this side. Make that real tight. Okay, first pass good. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, guys? I just want to invite you guys home. Matt's down in the basement, Claire Bear is asleep, and I am shooting a video of how to cut your own hair. Check it out up here. You want to say hi? Hey. <laughs> well, bye. Bye. All right. See you soon. Okay, so what was I doing there? I went at it from a bunch of different directions because not all the hairs grow in exactly the same grain. You wanna make sure that you get all of them cut to the same length. If you just go sideways to get that nice line, you're actually gonna leave like these weird like crop lines through your hair, which you don't wanna do. Uh, so, I mean, you wanna start there, but then you wanna make sure that you're going up to get it all smoothed out. While I'm here, before I start fading, I'm gonna to try to do the back too. Again, I'm looking into this mirror, into that mirror, into that mirror. And I'll spend a lot more time getting that right, but I want to get this side perfect and then blend the two together. So I'm going to actually comb my hair over the other direction. A little more water. So I never wear my hair this way. So it requires a little bit more water to get it to stick that way. Because I always comb my hair over, the slant doesn't actually matter that much anyway. Um, but I try to get it as close to right as I can. This side though, since I do put the hair over that, 
I try to leave it a little longer, so I'm gonna open it up for that now. Shortened it, because I'm going to be coming in from this side to blend it in. Okay, one thing. Pause for a minute. One thing you saw me do there. I was I had it on the shorter setting, but I'd done it on the longer setting. I wanted to fade it, and so as I went, I was flicking my wrist up. So as it flicks up, it's going to go from the, as short as the blade allows to longer. Um, so that motion will be an important motion. Okay, now it's time for the fun part. So I did a two up here, I did a zero down here. So the next thing I like to do is I like to take a one and put that in, full open. And I'm gonna start the fade again with that motion that we talked about, constantly rolling it. You can hear it if you listen. When the clippers engages the hair, you hear that <laughs> That's an important sound so you know when you're actually engaging the hair on the fade. Close it so it's just a little bit shorter. Same thing. And now the scariest part of all. You can take it off to close the difference. Before I do, you can kind of see it. It's almost there, but there's still this line that's just a little bit too sharp. This will clean that up. Now, this is where you really want to be careful. Looks pretty good. One thing I usually do is I will wet the, stu the stuff on the sides after I do my fade. Reason for that, when it gets wet, my hair gets a little darker. So if there's any major problems, I can spot them and do a quick check. Just 
checking it out. Right here, it's a little bit more of a stark difference than I would usually like. So I'm going to clean that up a little bit more. Give that a second round. Just fading it. Oh, it looks a little better. All right. Now for the last part. The top. So again, I like to have a little bit of length on the top. I like to be able to comb it over. Um, if this is your first time, you might just want to go short and just take it short the whole way. Um, I'm going to do it with eight, which is the biggest blade that I have, the biggest guard that I have. I'm going to take most of this hair off in the back, which shouldn't take off a lot because I just gave myself a haircut recently. And I'm going to leave a little bit more to play with in the front so that I can do my comb over, you know, side part and it'll still look good. Here we go. Good. Okay, and then the last part is the front. So at the front, sometimes I do it with scissors, uh, or sometimes I take the lazy approach, which is to simply take a comb, put a little bit of space here, and that's about it. Uh, the last piece that I do is now to put it on its very shortest setting, like that, I clean up the edges. And that is it. Now, at this point, I'm gonna go take a shower, and I'm gonna do my hair. But you can do it with water first. Just take a quick look. and see if it kind of looks the way you want it to look. Looking pretty good. And uh, so one thing, when I do these normally, I'm not gonna wear a shirt. Uh, I did that today because I didn't want y'all to have to look at me without a shirt for 17 minutes while I do my haircut. Uh, but cleanup's way easier if you just jump in the shower afterwards. Now I will have left a lot of hair here and I will have left some hair here. So for the life, one of the important things is uh, make sure to vacuum up after yourself. Love the vacuum, don't worry about sweeping. Just suck it all up with the hose up here, uh, the regular vacuum down there. Take care of it quick, nothing to throw away. Everything's easy. Uh, hope you all enjoy. And if you get it wrong, luckily we're uh, mostly in isolation. So you have a little bit of time for it to grow back and give it a second shot. Uh, and if you have kids running around the house, you might wanna practice on them first. All right, peace. Thanks guys.